Hi friends, go in this side and in this video we will see how to deploy the uh, Spring Boot war file on Docker. Okay, so basically deploying the Java var in Docker container. This is our topic. Okay, so in our previous video we have created the jar files and that jar file we have uh, deployed on Docker container and or, or we can say that we run that jar file on our Docker container. Okay, but now we in this video we will going to create the var file and that var file we are deploying in docker container okay so for this let's create the first uh, spring boot application with var packaging so spring boot applications okay var demo example var demo just say. next just add one dependency spring web okay no other dependency required okay so first go into pom.xml and uh, here add packaging tag so which packaging you required war okay when you build your application your application extension should be war so packaging name is war and i want application name something like uh, so give here final name and here application name like demo okay demo or uh, something like uh, test okay something like test is my application name so when i build my application so my application uh, is created inside target folder with name test and packaging is var so test dot war final name is test okay so this is one change and second change is you need to go to the main class and main class we need to add the we need to extends with spring boot servlet extends with spring boot servlet initializer okay to make our var file as a deployable for this we required uh, this class means we need to extend this class to make our var file as a deployable and for this we need to override the configure method and in this configure method just remove this and just pass here builder dot source and in this source class pass our bootstrap class name okay this is our bootstrap class that's it okay so this two major changes uh, required okay that's it now let's uh, first uh, build our application once to check proper var file created or not then we create the docker file okay so run as maven build clean install okay okay so now go to the target folder inside target folder check just refresh once okay so inside target folder our test.var file is created okay so this test is our final name and we give packaging as var so test.var file is created okay var file is created that's cool okay now let's create the docker file okay docker file docker file is a list of command that we uh, want the docker engine to execute okay means docker read the instructions from docker file create the docker image for us so let's create the docker file so right click new file d capital okay standard name docker file okay so this is a docker file in previous video we pass base image as java jdk to our docker file okay but in this example our base image is not a JDK. Our base image is a Tomcat. Okay. So go to our Docker file. Okay. And uh, our image name is just let me copy this first. STR. Okay. So instead of JDK, here base image is Tomcat. Okay. We require Tom Tomcat inside our container first. So base, Im base image is Tomcat. Cool. Okay. After that, let me remove these two lines not required now. Okay. So with this line, I am adding Tomcat in my container. Okay. 
so let's build uh, let's uh, create the image with this information only okay after that we deploy our var file in our tomcat so first let's run this inside our tomcat okay so basically what what we are doing we are adding this tomcat in our container okay with this two line what is the meaning of this two line we adding our means uh, external tomcat into our container so let's open the let's go to the folder structure okay this is var demo go inside var demo here is our docker file so open terminal from here and create the build okay so command to create the build is docker image build hyphen t and image name I'll give me a demo img is my image name okay and what is the docker file where is your docker file in current directory so that that's why i am passing dot only okay it means current directory this directory okay press enter okay here you can see your docker image started so docker image uh, created now place docker images and check docker docker file created or not docker images okay right okay so here is you can see docker images it will take some time that's why i'm open other so this is docker image what is demo.img this we have created okay why four years ago okay because why four four years ago because inside this we are uh, down, downloaded this uh, tomcat okay tomcat image that is a uh, four years ago that's why okay so this demo EMG we just have created demo dash IMG okay demo dash IMG so now let's go inside the demo dot IMG or run run this demo dot ING okay so docker run docker run uh, run in detach mode if you want demo dot IMG okay so do one thing again oh uh, let's check logs docker docker logs docker logs and container id five digit is sufficient okay let's check logs here our catlina server uh, means our server is startup okay so default port number of this uh, server is 8080 so you can go and check uh, okay localhost 8080 okay so you can see here we get the localhost 8080 correct so inside our container we uh, integrate tomcat successfully okay now if you try to now add uh, some external uh, okay now go to the application now add here one controller so that we can uh, check uh, application running properly or not test app in this test app let's let me add the one rest controller we have not deployed eight hour uh, application inside the uh, tomcat okay so let me add one controller and one endpoint public string Gate data okay in this uh, let me add gate mapping data something like this and return h1 tag h1 tag deployed I'll successfully something like this you can provide any message okay okay now from here and go inside container now so docker ps so this is our running container demo img now go inside this uh, container to check uh, where we want to deploy okay so inside container docker exec hyphen interactive mode or hyphen t go inside this container 
slash bin slash bash okay what is the command docker ls okay now now you are inside container so we just check the path okay so this is a web app okay but uh, we have just inside container we have added the tomcat so okay this is a web app so go inside the web app okay ls okay inside web app so this is the path where we need to deploy our var file as a root.var okay so pwd let me check the path is user local tomcat and web app okay now go to our docker.file okay now add this to file so now let's understand this meaning of this file so with this we added the external tomcat into our container okay what is the meaning of this line so rm even rf means we are going to remove all the files from this folder web apps folder okay we remove all the files from this folder okay and we are copying this uh, file which this paste.var file into which location into web apps location and what name root.var file okay and we run our server okay so now let's create the new image with this information so docker read this information and deploy our application inside this server so exit this and forget this okay now let's create the fresh image so docker image okay one second let me build the application once again because i have added the one class here is that app so let me build the application once clean install docker docker image build hyphen d image name demo new img demo new img is something i give image name okay and here is okay so image okay image is created now go and check docker images okay docker images okay so uh, demo new okay De demo new img this image is created okay right now do one thing now let's run this docker run demo img okay docker run demo img okay okay our application is started uh, on uh, port number 8080 now go and check localhost 8080 slash what is our endpoint name data okay so we get something like this but we expected we expected deployed file successfully but we get the something what is our output we get something like this okay so let's expose the uh, port number now okay so let me continue docker ps let me stop the running container docker kill this is the running container let me stop okay docker kill okay docker run docker images docker images okay 
so now run docker run hyphen p and the i want to expose the port number 880 which is default port number i want to expose them to 90 and now pass the your image name okay just minor change we made here okay okay now our application is uh, up and running on port number 8080 but we expose uh, this on 90 so instead of 8080 now just try with 90 okay here is our application deployed file successfully okay so in this way we can deploy our file in the docker container so let's understand uh, first uh, we have uh, created one spring boot application in in pom.xml here we add the packaging var and one minor changes uh, this is a file name just a small name and uh, major change is this uh, means in our main class we extend the uh, extend with spring boot solid initializer and configure our class and this is a docker file okay so this is the base image for war this is very important and before uh, copying we are removing all the files from this web apps folder and in this web apps folder we deploy the var file copy the var file and run catlin.sh ok uh, so thanks for watching if you have any doubt or suggestion related to this video you can ask me in comment bye bye